I shot the rookie here, and uh, Jay played my student. Student, slash yeah. Player. He was my coach. Yeah. How many years ago was that? Coach. How many that years? Was it was like uh, 20, twenty years ago, years ago. almost yeah. exactly. And now he's the coach. Um, well, this was brought to me by uh, producer Javier Chapa, who also had brought me my last uh, true story. And when he brought it to me, Jay was involved. Um, okay. And but I decided to do it anyways. And, mm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, in spite of, I was like, it's all right. I can do that. We can work for this. Yeah. And so Jay and I kind of spent uh, yeah. several months talking about the script and kind of developing it more and, and expanding the character. And then uh, and then Dennis came on board. And then it was just. All these guys followed after. Yeah. Julian plays like the J character. <clears throat> the yeah. Rookie, actually, he's the troubled youth. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a full circle. I guess now I got to do a project where I play a coach. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. 20 yeah. years, yeah. Yeah. we'll be in Smithville yeah. Yeah. doing some yeah. tennis movie. Yeah. Tennis. Movie. Maybe there tennis. It is. Yeah. There it is. Well, I, I feel like there's some sort of responsibility, uh, given my place in the business, to to have a counterbalance to the narrative that is commonly out there about Latin people, about Mexican Americans, about you know. Chicanos, whatever term you want to you want to um, uh, describe us as, and I and I feel like it's incumbent upon us, people who do ascend to a certain level in the business, to to sort of do something with that and and find a platform to bring on you know young talent and and tell stories that uh, you know sort of we take ownership of. It's a true story. Yeah. Number one, these these uh, high school kids, Chicano high school kids in the fifties, you know that segregation and discrimination was going on. There were caddies at the Rio Country Club, but they couldn't play there, of course. They built their own golf course in the desert. You know, had one hole and nine ways to come to it. And they started a, a team in high school and they won the state championship at the very country club <laughs> where they couldn't play. And that, you know, for that time, that's it, just like unheard of and it's a great underdog story and it's authentic. Mm -hmm. And that's what we tried to reflect in, in doing it, is just to be real. I, I fell in love with the story. I just, I, if it wasn't for this role, I, I just wanna, I just wanted to watch it or be an audience member because I, I learned about this. I didn't even know that this story existed. And it, it's just so heartwarming and, and inspiring and, and I love, I, I mean, I'm just honored to be here with all of these because I think everyone here is super talented and amazing. <laughs> it, it, it kind of like resembles even like now, like what, I mean, Joe Trevino, he was a dreamer. Um, there was obstacles in front of him that he had to face. And, um, and I just felt connected to the struggle, connected to, to the dream that he had. And then once I found out the cast, I was like, oh my God, like, of course, this is, you know, a dream come true. And, and you're an amazing golf instructor, a, I will say. You gave me some pointers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I only play once a day. To kind of go back to the rookie again, which is not about baseball, it's about second chances.